Oh yes, folks. It's time for another stealth camp. A windy stealth camp. You better believe it. Right. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show guys and thank you for joining me on another Saturday night serious stealth camp. It's like an urban stealth camp this. I'm in the middle of an industrial estate. You can see Sunderland Bridge over there. That takes you straight over to the city centre. When we get around the corner you'll be able to see all the high rise flats. I'm going to be pretty close just opposite from the stadium of light. There's a pub just over the road from where I am. So yeah, a proper urban stealth camp. And I'm looking at getting a spot right next to a busy railway line. So there should be plenty of action all night long, in the famous words of Lionel Blair. Plenty of action of trains going past in the middle of me talking shite. You know the score on the Blood Outdoor Show. You know I'm going to be talking loads of shite. We're going to do a world famous WASP review. I've got a few beers to drink. And I'm not cooking anything tonight. No, no, no. Loads of people have been saying, why don't you do, like, combine me videos? Because you know I do takeaway review videos as well. Why don't I do a takeaway review in the middle of a stealth camp? And I was always thinking, ah, I'm not too sure about that. But I've been lucky enough. There's a takeaway. I'll tell you more about it later on. There's a takeaway. Been in touch with us. A five-star quality takeaway offering to deliver me some free food tonight so I'm not going to do a takeaway review as such but I will certainly do some munching glad back on the food and I'll tell you if it's nice or if it's not nice I'm pretty sure it's going to be absolutely lovely jubbly yes it's not getting delivered exactly at the camping spot because I don't want to give that away I'm going to walk a short distance away pick the takeaway up take it back to the spot you know what I'm talking about and you know it makes complete sense man dingoes anyway I'll bring your legends back when I get closer to the common spot. You know, makes sense. Ah! Oh. So there's a stadium of light, guys. Got the Hilton Hotel over there as well. So I'm going to be camping pretty much next to loads of things, if you know what I'm talking about. That's the ticket office there for Sunland Football Club. That's where I'm going to get my food delivered to later on and then quickly get back into my camping spot. Oh yes, and we'll be diving in to some serious scrandingo. That's the plan, dingo man, dingoes. Okay, let's get going. Are you mad? <laughs> so this is like an abandoned car dealership. We're gonna take a shortcut through their old car park. Quick look around. Nobody's looking. These things here belong to Sunland Football Club. I think that's what they'll put on the football pitch you know like with the special lights on it to keep the grass in good condition can you hear that ice cream van they just ate a 99 now or a 69 er matron come on then guys another quick look back in the car park no one there CCTV, that's never a good thing for a stealth camper. Oop, you bugger. I saw, like I said, you've got the stadium light there. You've got the Hilton Hotel. There's a pub dingo over there. You've got the high-rise flats just there. It's like a car sales place, like a little car dealership. No one around. 
Let's go, man, dingoes. It's not the nicest. It's not the cleanest spot. And it's full of stingy nettles. But I mean, I mean, guys, and this is the way, the way of the man dingo. You better believe it is. How oh, Let's have a look and see how close we are. See, so you've got a busy road there. And you can see how close we are to the railway line. So you'll have like your normal trains and you'll have your metro trains as well. So, yeah, we can do some train spotting. Very exciting stuff here on the Blood Outdoor Show. Right, man, dingoes, I need to try and find a spot now because this all looks pretty shite. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the Baghdad off me old Bakaruni, have a look for the best spot, and I'll bring you back in a win it. Rice. Probably is one of the most minging camping spots I've ever camped behind. God, there is loads of train action. <laughs> anyway, up there where I am, the one good point about it is I see it out the wind. It's a little bit breezy, but it's not blowing a gale like it was when I was out in the open. I don't know why, but the, the strong wind isn't getting into that camping spot, so a thumbs up for that. Now, if I find a spot for the tent, it's pretty shit. There's rubbish all over, stingy nettles all over the place. And when I went deep into the bush, deep in the bush, to find a decent spot, there was like broken bottles, and I even seen a couple of dirty needles, so I ain't going in there. I'm not even going in there later on for a slash garden. <laughs> So, what I have found is this spot here, just like down here, I reckon if I get the tent there and I'll put the door on this side here, so if I'm sitting with the door open, I'm looking in that direction, no one from over that way is going to see us with my head torch on sitting inside the tent. That'll ding dang do for this man dingo. I'm not going to be totally hidden. I'm kind of like stealth camping in plain sight, if you know what I'm talking about. But I'm here now. I haven't got time to go elsewhere looking for another camping spot because I think there's about an hour and a half left and it could be light. I mean, I could go walking around and find another spot, but this is where I want to camp in this area. This is where I'm sticking at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my seat set up, have a can dingo, I'm not going to put the tent up yet. I'll wait until it's starting to get dark a little bit. There's loads of cars in this car park here. I'm guessing it's people that might work for the football club or over at the hotel. So they could be returning to the cars. So I don't want to have the tent up in broad daylight. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Mandingos. How are you? Let's get me seats are up. I'll bring you back when we're sitting down having a nice little beer. Lies. I think I might have spoke a bit too soon about it not being windy. It's been absolutely blown a gale for the last few minutes. But um, I'm going to show you my food and drink now. As you know, <clears throat> my main meal is getting delivered tonight. I'm very lucky. Thank you to the guys at Grill and Chill who are based in Siam and Ashbrook in Sunderland. Yeah. <laughs> this man, Dingo, will certainly not turn down a free takeaway. Like I said, We'll have a bit more crack about that later on, guys. Now I'm going to show you my food and drink. Me snacks, I should say. Me snacks and me drinks. You can see there how close I am to the railway line. This is where I'm going to sit. Even when I do get me tensor up down there, I'm going to sit over in this area against there because 
that wall's keeping the wind from coming behind us. Anyway, here we go with the drinks. There's a legend by the name of John Brownlee. He sent me two bottles of this, the other ones in my Baghdad. Mon Dieu, Northern Irish, single malt whisky. So I'll pop them two little bottles into the old famous Cub Dingo Man Dingoes and we will certainly ding dang do a world famous with you later on. I've also got four of these, never had them before. Jubal, am I saying that right? Jubal beer with a cut of lemon. This one is Jubal beer with blood orange. Another one with peach. And this one is the grapefruit one. So four nice beers there. That is Jack Daniels. Oh yes, when I done the Jack Daniels review in the back of the Blockmobile <clears throat> last week, I kept some Jack Daniels. Well, I only had a little bit for the review, didn't I? So yeah, there's quite a bit in there, guys, for some chest warmers later on. Yes, that's me drinks covered, man, dingoes. Choo -choo. The next train will be arriving at Mandingo Town. You better believe it. Right, I've still brought my gas bottle and my little stoves in case I want to make a Jürgen Cloffy in Z Morgan there. And I've brought a couple of Viz Counts, the old Viz Count Duculars. I've got a hot and spicy pepperami. I've got a meatball Maradona, video nasty, and some traditional flavour Browns Biltong. Link in the description, guys, for Brown's Bill Tong. Right. <laughs> yes, it's time to sit down, have a beer. I'm not putting the tent up yet, as I've already said. My tent's just there. If it starts raining, well, I'll get it up as quick as I can then, because I don't want to get caught out and get soaked and wet. Time for a beer. What am I going to have first? I think I'll try the grapefruit flavour. They're just little canned dingoes and they're only four four plus centre so they're not really strong oh ho, ho. how nice are them oh jubel beer with grapefruit it just tastes like grapefruit pop oh perfect amondo man dingoes is the same in the back streets of Brooklyn. Right, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll bring you back when it's time to talk some more shite or answer a question or whatever. Try cigars. Cheese man dingoes. Oh, oh yes. Trying the peach one now, my fansexuals. Cheers, guys. Nice. But it's not quite as nice as the grapefruit one. <laughs> I've still got the lemon one left and the blood orange. I've got plenty shots left of Jack Daniels. I've just been having a few little cheeky chest warmers. 
since that sun's gone down, the temperature's dropped. I didn't bring the heated gloves. I know I keep forgetting to tell you about them. I've got these heated gloves, guys. I'll bring them out on the next wild camp on Wednesday, on Wednesday night. <laughs> Get your words out. Okay, the manding goes, how we? It's time to get this tent up. I think I've got about half an hour left, and then it's going to be dark. Let's get a move on, let's get the tent up. I'll bring you back in a Winnie Mandela. So there we go folks, that's the tent up. I've ended up putting it here, right on top of the stingy nettles. I was gonna put it down there, like I said, I know that was a little bit in the open, but it was the nicest spot. But just round the corner there in the car park, you know, about 30 feet away, there was a car parked up, he had his headlights on, and he was there for about 45 minutes. I kept sitting down, having a little drink, I was going back around and checking, and he was still sitting there with his engine running, headlights on. I was thinking, hurry up and bugger off, but he wouldn't go. Anyway, I thought, what the hell? I've been trampling down with my feet, trampling all the nettles down, getting the tent up. As soon as I started putting my tent up, I was about halfway through doing it. He drove off, I thought typical, but Whoever it was has done us a favour because I'm actually in, oh, nearly tripped over, I'm in a better spot. Although, yes, I'm on the stingy nettles. I shouldn't get through to me air mat because obviously you've got the bottom of the tent, I've got the foil mat down, I've got the burghouse, burghouse, slating pad, me old stinking three season, galert, gelert, <laughs> whatever it's called, slating bag, the old Baghdad's down there. I've set my little table up two beers left. I've got me two little waskies. Some water there for dry mouth in the Morgan and Jürgen Cloffy time. Let's get this whiskey open guys. Jacques Daniels. The famous Frenchman. Jacques Daniels. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? Cheese man dingoes. So that's me, all set up guys. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna relax for 10 little Winnie Mandela's and I'll bring you back very soon. <laughs> I tell you what, when I first got here and it was minging and I was gonna to have to put the tent out there in the open, I was thinking, ah, uh, it's gonna be a, a bit of a dodgy one, a sketchy one, am I gonna enjoy it? I tell you what, I am absolutely loving this stealth camp. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Hope you can see how much I'm genuinely loving stealth camp in this location. It's absolutely fantastic. Just being here to get like the extra footage of the trains going past. You've got the noise of the police cars, the police sirens and the, the ambulance sirens. Tremendous. You know, you've got the backdrop of the, the high rise flats to record absolutely fantastic it makes for a perfect setting for a serious serious <laughs> it makes for a perfect setting for a serious stealth camp Stu know what I'm talking about <laughs> right air maiden oh
<laughs> oh yes, mandingos. Nice little chest warmer. Jack Daniels, no cork. Nice and neat. Oh, strong as a bull. You better believe it. Yeah. Oh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. That's all right. Just like when an e-bike's going past, I think it's like an Uber driver. You know, you get the Uber drivers delivering from McDonald's or KFC or wherever. <laughs> Just with this torch on, I've got to put it down because you think, oh, I'm going to get rumble Lord, the old rumble Lord cup. I, I've just had a text message a few minutes ago, a few little winners ago, of a legend by the name of Josh, a massive fan of the Blot Outdoor Show. He's the guy that's arranged like the, the free takeaway tonight from Grill and Chill, which is based in Siam, County Durham, and also Ashbrook in Sunderland. The world famous city of Sunderland. You know, makes sense. Yeah, I actually spoke to him, you know, about a year ago. I was in Morrison's, my local Morrison supermarket. We had done the last stealth camp, and he came up to us, big lad. I wouldn't like a slap off him. <laughs> He'd knock us out straight away. But I am, um, he said he was a massive fan of the channel. Is there any chance, man, didn't go out and get a photo took with you? I always feel embarrassed. <laughs> no matter how big the channel gets, I always feel crap, I always feel embarrassed because I'm just a normal bloke, like I've said a billion times before, there's no flash about me and it doesn't matter how big the channel gets, <sighs> I think in the next year or so I might like hit 100,000 and I am totally amazed by that, I never even thought I would hit 1,000 but like, even if I had 200,000, 500,000, I would never ever let it go to me head. If you guys have watched this channel long enough, you know that. You know, my shit stinks exactly like yours. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, more twins, more Shania twins, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, the old Shania twins. Aye, there's no special about me. If you ever see us guys come up to us, I'll have a bit crap on me. I'll have a photo took with you, even though I feel embarrassed because. <laughs> Oh, God. I'm just a normal, ugly bugger <laughs> with a fat, spotty, hairy ass. You better believe it, guys. But I, getting back on track, I was talking to Josh. That was like a year ago. And um, anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I was down on the seafront in my hometown of Seam, Seaham by the sea. There's like a little Sainsbury's there. So me, Mrs. Blot, and my son Preston, we went in. We got a few bits and pieces some dog food and shit like that. And um, just like next door, there's an ice cream shop called, I think it's called Chilled Out, like Galetto or something. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Anyway, the takeaway I'm getting the food from tonight, Grill and Chill, is just like three doors along from that. It's all part of the same business. So Josh, he is going out with one of the girls in Chilled Out to Galetto. So when we came out, he come running over Hello, man, Dingo, oh, me partner, me wife, me girlfriend, whoever it is, says you've just been in. He says, I was taught to you last year in Morrison's. Well, I recognised them then straight away. I says, oh, hi, hi, mate, how you doing? He says, yeah, he says, he says, I'm like, I'm in charge of like the promotions, like the um, the online promotions and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm saying things right. For Grill and Chill, you've got Grill and Chill on the seafront at Same, which is like a restaurant, but you can get a takeaway from there as well. And then in another part of Siam, you've got Grill and Go, which is the takeaway. There's a few seats inside if you want a serene, but it is just like a takeaway. And then in Ashbrook, which is in the city of Sunderland, that's like a little restaurant. It's only little, but it's like a little restaurant. And as far as takeaways go, as far as like takeaway food goes, I know, because I've been to all three, it's quality food. That's why I'm not going to do a takeaway with you tonight. Because there's so many, dare I say it, without defending so many, there's so many absolute whoppers who will message me some wet wipes and they'll say, oh, you're clearly only giving it a 10 out of 10 or a 9.5 out of 10 because you know the owner of the restaurant or you've been given the food for free. So tonight isn't going to be a takeaway with you. I'm going to do some serious Borussia Munchen Gladbach. You better believe I am. And obviously, if it's lovely, 
which I know it's going to be. I'm going to tell you it's lovely. So this isn't a promotion. It's not like that. I've been offered a free takeaway while I'm stealth camping. Who in the world would turn some quality five-star takeaway food down? That's going to get delivered here. I can get it delivered over there. You know, a little short walk away next to the Sunderland ticket office. It's called Black Cat's House. Because Sunderland Football Club, the nickname's the Black Cat's. I'm not going to turn some free food down. Not this fat lad. <laughs> you better believe it, guys. But I, I'm going to go over in a Winnie Mandela and get that food. But like I said, you wouldn't believe the amount of wet pipes that complain about stuff. And I'm not saying this in a negative way. I'll tell you these stories. When I get negative comments and I talk about it, I like to talk about it. No, in a negative way, in a funny way, nothing gets to me. It's water off a duck's arse crack, as far as I'm concerned, guys. Like, when I'd done the takeaway review, Oh, you know what I've done the takeaway review where Mrs. Block works in the pub? The amount of people that message us, oh, you've only given a good score because Mrs. Block works there. blah de blah Oh, stop crying. And do you know what the thing is? It's never women. It's never women. It's always men. You know, some so-called hard. Oh, they must think they're hard because they're leaving you a message. You know what I'm talking about, guys. The old keyboard warriors. Oh, you're a disgrace. I'm unsubscribing. Why I'm bothered. You know what I mean? Why I'm bothered. If you don't like it, don't watch. You know, all you legends that watch, you know the score in the Black Outdoor Show. You know I'm not full of shit. You kind of get a more genuine person than this man, Dingo. Cheers, guys. Right, guys, the food's here. The lads just sent us a message, Josh, seeing he's at the ticket office. Obviously he hasn't got a clue where I am. Why I'm some scarlet pimpernel. Let's get over, get this food, and then get back in the Cap Mandingoa. Lice. Mr. Outdoors. Oh yes, Josh, yes, my man, friend. Dingo. Josh and his pal Dingo. How are you doing? You alright, mate? Well, oh, you're, you're good looking. <laughs> you alright, mate? <laughs> We've got a grill and chill mixed grill. Oh, and you better a believe it. Feast, pizza, all the sauces, all the trimmings. That's what I'm oh asking. God, I'm trying to lose some weight from you giving me all this food. You know what I mean? Well, thank you very much, my yeah, man, friend. Me. I can't even shake your hand because I've got the camaraderie in one hand and all this food so I thank you to the guys at Grill and Chill in Seam and Ashbrook Sunderland. Yeah that's it. Oh, so, if you're from Sunderland, Sunderland order from Ashbrook. To right. To right. <laughs> right mate I'm gonna get back to Camp Mandingo. Sound over good. there. That's Enjoy. why I met you here. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't want you to know where my camping spot is. <laughs> I am some stealth camper. Some Sherlock Holmes. And then um, I'm gonna get back and do some serious bro shit and munching glad back. Thank you, mate. See you, mate. See you, mate. Why are you good looking? <laughs> See you later. Cheers. Right, how are them guys? Let's get back. Whoop. We're next to Stadium of Light. We've got the coaches coming back. The Sunderland fans who have been to the away game today to see the Bonnie Lads play away at West Brom, where we won 1 0. The mighty Sunderland. <laughs> how are them? There's probably about 20 people on that bus <laughs> who watch the Blood Outdoor Show and everyone's going to know where I'm coming. How are you? Let's get going, guys. Oh, oh, yes. This is going to be a male fit for a manding or Yes, folks. Look at this food, man. Oh my goodness. How good does that look? And they've given us a kind of coke as well to wash it down with. Perfect, the Mondo Mandingos. Did they see in the Joe Dine? Tell you what I'm going to do. Oh. 
going to have a little whiskey and coke with it because I've got two little bottles of whiskey the same so I'll keep one for Z review the world famous whiskey review oh, oh yes and I'll have a nice little whiskey and coke with the food get that in the old Baghdad oh my goodness where do you start with something that looks so good I'm going to have Pardonsky some meat faced pizza oh look at that meat faced pizza it's got everything on there but it's got meatballs on as well mm. <laughs> oh my goodness and we've got four different types of dips mm. I'm not too sure what that one is it's got a little bit of a kick to it but not too spicy mm. really really nice mmm absolute quality so the takeaway is called grill and chill which is on the seafront in Siam County Durham my hometown and like I've said guys this isn't a promotion this isn't a takeaway review like we're doing a Friday night so before anyone starts crying and giving a shit for giving good scores for getting a, a free meal this isn't a takeaway review it's not where I'm giving scores out of 10 I've been offered a free meal and I've taken one who would turn it down mm. I'm just going to tell you if the food's nice or if it's shite and it's certainly not shite Mm. As you can see, this meat feed pizza has all different toppings on. But it's the little mini meatballs that's doing it for me. Very nice indeed. And the four different dips. Obviously that one's chili, that one's garlic. Hmm. Very nice indeed, guys. Oh yes, look at that. Hmm. Every Catman video, there's another train going past. Oh, that chilli sauce. A little bit of kick to it. Perfect amount of mandingos, as you see in the doodang. <laughs> yeah. Every camping video you watch of me, whether I'm stealth camping or wild camping, you'll always see me do me cooking. Normally it's well later than this. It's after midnight when I'm totally smashed burger. So you're always going to get this bit. Well, I'm eating my food, the only difference is tonight, I've been very fortunate and I haven't had to cook it. So, yeah, let's try some of these French fries. Oh yes, skin on fries, we'll get in the chilli, we'll try all four sauces with the flies. Mmm. Still nice and hot not red hot because obviously I'm out here in the cold I've been talking to the lads I've had to work I've had to walk over here and get set up and they've had to dry through from the takeaway but still nice and warm mm. very nice 
very nice nice and crispy nice and soft on the inside get some garlic on there Mm. If it's French fries you're watching, you're watching. Who are you watching? Who are you watching for? <laughs> Why am I some lyrical genius? Oh. If it's French fries you're watching, if it's French fries you're wanting with your takeaway. These are the perfect French fries. Mm. Still nice and hot. Not overdone, not underdone. Nice and crispy on the outside. Soft on the inside. Perfect Amundo Mandingos, as they say, in the gay bars of San Francisco. You better believe they do. Mmm. absolutely spot on so far well come on let's dive in to the meat <coughs> oh. Oh. a couple of them sauces got a bit of a kick to them which I don't mind I like a nice little bit of spice with my fluid loads of police sirens out tonight isn't it can you hear you and ambulance sirens but that just adds to a brilliant stealth camp Oh, Mrs. Blot would love this. A nice big long sausage. Her matron. Don't know what it is. When I get with Indians and we get the starters and you get like onion bargies, chicken tikka, and you get like a, like a kima sausage. I don't know if it's something similar to that. Like a nice lamb spiced sausage. Ooh, pardonski. Before we dip it in the sauces. We'll have a little bite. Ew. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that is very nice. It's not spicy at all. See? I know a lot of people get put off about ordering takeaways like this. Because some people just can't eat spicy food at all. And they would love to, but they're scared because it's going to give them indigestion. It's going to give them the shits, <laughs> bad guts. <clears throat> That's not spicy. Yes, obviously th there is some spices in there, but there's no burner rooney in the old mouth dingo. Mmm, yeah. And you've got the four dips as well. <laughs> so this is the mixed grill. They've sent us the mixed grill. And the meat-faced pizza. So when you think of your normal meat-faced pizza, where you've got this, that and the other on, that's also got little mini meatballs on as well. So... It just makes it even better than your normal meat face pizza. I can just see the comments now. From all the snowflakes, get the little bum bum's head. Ooh, Mandingo. You're only giving it a good review. <laughs> because you got a free meal. Look, I knew before I came it was going to be nice. The three different shops they've got, I've been to all three. So I knew that all three takeaways, two and same, one in Sunderland. So if you're from Sunderland guys, order from the one in Ashbrook, Sunderland. I knew they were all quality. So it's no secret. It's not like I'm trying to like say, ooh, I'm trying to take away I've never tried before. I knew that this food was going to be nice, but who am I to turn a free takeaway down? You know what I'm talking about, guys. 
Oh, well, I'm gonna have a few more little chipperoonies because I love me chips. You guys know I love me chips. Let's get that. Oh, that garlic is absolutely lovely. I know you're thinking, just garlic sauce. Every takeaway does garlic sauce. Of course I do. But that is really, really nice. I think all the takeaways must just buy the food and the sauces from the same place. But I don't know what it is. That garlic sauce is like, it's on another level. I don't know if the that adding something to it itself to make it even better. Whatever it is, it's absolute quality. Well, how are they? Let's give it some of this meat. Oh my goodness, like a bit. Steak, I'm no expert on what it is. That is so soft and tender. Mm. Look at that. And there's plenty there, guys. A bit chilli sauce on that mandingos. Mm. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> when I'm camping and I've had a few shandies, and I'm smash burgered. I love nothing more than cooking my meal. It adds to the camp. It gets a bit extra food taj for the video. The old Nicky Minaj, if you know what I'm talking about. But every now and again, I tell you what, I deserve a nice little treat like this. Now I'm not even biting down on that. I'm not like forcing the bite. It's so soft. It's so tender. It's a lovely quality piece of meat. Well, you know what's like guys? I'm going to get a steak. We all think we're master chefs. We all think we're some sort of Gordon Ramsay. And you can cook a steak in the house yourself. Mmm. And it can be as tough as an old boot. That is so nice, so soft, and so tender. Mmm. Wow. I think we'll try some chicken next, some chicorni, the old chicorni waver. A few chunks of chicken there, guys. Ooh, more than a few, quite a few. And even without using the sauces, you can see it's already been marinated in some sort of sauce. Oh. <laughs> Talk about melting your mouth. Oh my goodness. That is to die for. More trains. The old Shania twins. Feel like a woman. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Absolutely tremendous. Mm. I'll tell you what I'm going to have to do. Oh. Oh, oh. I'm going to have to make a little Bohemian Rhapsody. 
which you can't wave eh? Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, you know I did that take away review the other day. Last week I think it was. It was at the pizza shop where I go to, where, where I used to go to when I worked in the factory. We used to order a Thursday night oregano, and I give it a nine point six. I get people all the time saying to me, you know. You're a bit too generous with the scores, man, Dingoes. You need to be a bit stricter. This has proved to me that, yes, you absolute legends of subscribers are right. I do need to be a little bit more stricter and not give so generous scores because if I give there a 9.6, and it was nice, don't get me wrong, Dingo, man, Dingoes, is the sea in the southeastern region of Mongolia. This is a million times better a billion times better uh. compared to the food I had from Oregano a zillion times better and I give that a 9.6 so I'm definitely being a little bit too generous I need to be a bit tougher I need to be a bit more harsh and not worry about th people thinking I'm a nasty pasty if you know what I'm talking about because this is like oh, just another level altogether compared to the food from Oregano. Oh, but yeah, I tell you what, before I do a little wraparoonie, I'll have a little bit more of the steak, lamb, wherever it is. Mm. Yeah, cook the chips on that. I'm sorry, guys, if this bit's. Dragging on too long. Fast forward if you want. Just, I enjoy talking to you guys. It makes me feel like I'm not here by myself. Oh yes. That's my least favorite one. Out the three sources. So I'm going to pop that in the old bin diesel. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just me, it's my least favourite one. So you've got the garlic, you've got the chilli. That one was a little bit minty. I know we like mint sauce, but I'm not too keen on that one. But there's nothing wrong with it. There's snout wrong with it. You know what I'm talking the snout. Mmm. Let's make a nice little wrap. And in the meantime, while I'm making this, I'm gonna take this chance now to see a big fat mega, the old mega Saras. Thank you to all you absolute legends who have supported my channel, The Blot Outdoor Show. It's not called The Blot Outdoor Show, it's just called Blot Outdoor Show. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, thank you for all the support over this last week. Thank you for the whole support all the time. But yeah, all you legends who have supported the Bloody Door Show over this last week and bought us a coffee, it is very much appreciated. My fan sexualities, you don't have to do it. You know the score, guys, I see it all the time. If you've been watching long enough, you know exactly what I'm gonna say. My videos are free for everyone to watch. I don't charge for the extra videos I make, like a lot of YouTubers do with all that bullshite, what is it, Patreon. Oh, you've got to pay for Patreon to see all the extra bits and pieces. No, no, no. I put my videos out, everything is there. If everyone to watch, you know the score, guys. Oh, get that in there. So, you to work your way. Oh my God, spillage. There's too much bread, I'm trying to get rid of some bread. For you to go out your way to support my channel, you've got no idea how grateful I am for that. So, yeah, thank you so much, my man, my man and woman friend Dingoes. This one is absolute ginormous, mega, mega sore ass. Thank you to all you legends. It is very much appreciated. There's your names down there and down there. My pan sexualities. Cheers, guys. It is very much appreciated. I love each and every one of you. Now I am going to make 
It's your Corny Weaver Bohemian Rhapsody. So, as you know, I'm a salad dodger, but I do love a little bit of red onion. Mrs. Block would love this with all the lettuce and the red onion. When we order a takeaway at home, she always orders like an extra tub of salad. And I'm like, what? What are you doing? You don't pay for salad. If it comes free on the takeaway, like in with the price, yes, you don't pay extra for salad, but when you've got a beautiful wife, like Mrs. Block the sexy butt, I'll just let her do what she wants. You better believe I do, guys. Oh, look at that. Everything's been perfect so far. We're now going to get some chilli on there, guys. Oh, matron. And a bit garlic. Garlic sauce. Not in my lifetime. Oh, look at this. I best lean forward because it's going to have a spillage all over the tent. It's me old tent anyway, so I didn't give a shite. Oh, look at that. A wrap for a mandingo. Here we go, my pansexualities. Oh. Oh. Talk about flavours in your mouth. Mmm. A lovely marinated chicken. Red onion, lettuce, red cabbage. Oh. Garlic chili. Oh. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Well. <laughs> I'm nearly stuffed. There's no way I can eat all this. It's such a shame there to not be able to eat it all, but with me being so slim and so slender, I can't eat all this. <laughs> a massive thank you to the guys. Oh, matron. A grill and chill. In Siam, you've got grill and chill, and you've got grill and go. And in Ashburg, which is in the city of Sunderland, you've got grill and chill there as well. So, I honestly, I'm not doing this for you to order from their takeaways. But if you do want nice takeaway, I'm telling you what, you cannot go wrong, dingo man, dingoes, with this food. Like I said last week when I done oregano, I give a 9.6, and now I know. I'm probably been too generous. I shouldn't be given scores that high. But that was just what I thought at the time. If I was given a score here, I'm telling you what, I'm giving it a 10, but I'm not giving the score because you get loads of snowflakes. Oh, you're giving it a 10 when you got a free meal. It's nothing like that, guys. This has just been offered to me when I've been camping, so grill and chill, grill and go, see him in Sunland. Check it out. Cheers, Josh, my man friend. Absolute top quality scrandingo mandingos. You better believe it. Right. Hmm. I think I'm going to have the rest of that sausage. Another slice of pizza. I'm going to eat that in peace and quiet. So, oh, it's dropping it all over. I'm going to have a few little Winnie Mandela's. Peace and quiet, and I bring you back very soon. Right.
can of blood orange lager beer. You know what makes sense, my fan sexualities. Cheers. The glare of self love. Oh. 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 Air. Oh, oh, yes, man, dingoes. You know what time it is. Waski time. And this is what we've got this week. Oh, can you hear that? Still a bit windy. That alarm, car alarm, it's been going on, on and off for the last two hours. Bloody annoying. That's the way it goes, man, dingoes, when you're stealth camping. Here we go. Born, due, or if you're in America, you'll see a born due, but born due, Irish waski from Northern Ireland. Oh, yes. Single malt, triple distilled. Kindly given me from a legend by the name of John Brownlee. Cheers, John, my man friend sexual. It is very much appreciated. Come on then, guys. Let's get this popped in. Your famous cub dingo. Man dingoes. Oh, oh, yes. You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what this man dingo is talking about. Rice. Come on then. Let's get the old big onion. Oh, like a spiced fruit type of gegaroni. Definitely some spices in there. Like a nice, strong, rich oak thing going on let's have a little swirl around see if it can release some more sniff dingoes up the old nostradamus oh like a like a woody like a mahogany type of smell dingo man dingoes anyway that's enough of the sniffing let's get on with the tasting tricycles Oh, yeah, like a tree, woody, foresty, definitely like an oaky, a definite wood type of flavour coming through there, guys. There's a little bit of a fruity element to it, but I might need another couple of taste of Rooney's to get the old flavour ringo, flavour ringos, the old flavour ringo stars, <laughs> the old taste ringos coming through, guys. Flavour ringos, that's a new one. The old flavour ringo stars, right? Yes, yeah, so it's quite nice. It's not rough. It's not harsh in any way at all. And I've got to be honest, I've never even heard of this. From Northern Ireland. Mon Dew. Mon Dew, Mon Dew, Rodney. This time next year, we'll be millionaires. You better believe it. Cheese man, dingoes. 
Mm. Tell you what, that goes down so smooth, so silky. It's a nice little drop. And that fruitness to it is starting to come through now. Oh, mm, like a dried fruits, like a dried apricots. That's what I'm getting. There's a strong wood thing there straight away. I've got that straight away with the taste. Nice and smooth, no harshness, no roughness at all, guys. Oh, a fruity, dry fruit, apricot thing going on down the hatch tickles. Mm. Mm. Oh yes, morning dew, morning dew. That's the story, morning glory, yeah. Need a little time to wake up, wake up. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Morning, Jew. <laughs> I'm losing the plot, Melee. You need a little time to wake up, wake up. Yeah. What's the story? Morning, Jew. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I'm losing the plot. Right, I'm <laughs> with Lovely, very nice indeed. Kindly given to me from John Brownlee. I wrote his name down there so I didn't forget. Cheers, John, my man friend. It is very much appreciated. Yes, apricot taste. Nice and smooth, nice and silky. Mmm, quality. There's not loads of flavours like some whiskies have, but what it has got, it's very nice. I'm going to give this a steady, nothing special, but certainly, certainly not a bad whisky. Very nice indeed. A very steady, straight eight out of ten dingo, mad dingoes. Quality. Morn Dew. Northern Irish whisky. 8 out of 10 dingo man dingoes that's it guys that's the end of this week's waski with you you know what I'm talking about this is serious stealth coming right <whistles> boomski Oh yes, man, Lingos. It's 19 minutes past two. It's time to get some shut eye. It's been an absolutely fantastic camp. Yes, I know there was quite a bit of the video taken up when I was doing the serious Borussia munching Gladbach, but I've had hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of people asking me to combine a food review with the stealth camping, the old combine harvester food review, if you know what I'm talking about. So that's exactly what I've done tonight. I won't be doing that for a long time. That was just a one-off. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, I'd just like to say, I do not give a monkey's chuff. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, guys. Anyway, I'll see you legends first thing in the Morgan. So I'm now gonna say bonjour and good night, Vienna. See you in the morgan, guys, at Jürgen Cloffy time. You better believe I will. Rice. Good morning, Mandingos. 9.45. Slept absolutely fantastic once again. But there's loads of noise going on outside, can you hear you? You've got the police sirens, ambulance sirens. <laughs> there's been loads of trains going past. The old Shania twins. And the main thing, oh, my belly is rumbling. I'm touching cloth. <laughs> the old teddy bear's arm sticking out. 
So on that note, guys, I think I need to get packed away as quick as I can and get out of Dodge City and get back home <sighs> and take a dump truck in my own toilet hole. However, <laughs> let's get up and get sorted. Right folks, that's me all packed away now. <laughs> I had to run over Tesco's. There's a Tesco's just over there. Like a big Tesco supermarket. Honestly, my guts was rumbling. I had a teddy bear's arm sticking out. I'll definitely have some skidamadiddas on my uni bedundies in Z Morgan. So I ran over Tesco's. <sighs> Dropped me groceries as I say. Bags packed. I've gotten rid of me bin diesel over there. I've chucked me. I didn't have much rubbish anyway, to be honest. But I've gotten rid of that in the bin next to Tesco's. Now it's time to get the bag on me old Bataroonie and get out of Dodge. See you in a minute, how are I am bothered. So there we go, Mandingos. That's the end of this week's stealth camping video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've had an absolutely fantastic time as usual combined a takeaway with you with the stealth camp that was due to public demand I must have had over a thousand people asking me to do that so that's just like a total one-off so if anyone's got the knickers in a twist and they think I rambled on too much well that's just the way it goes man goes I won't be doing anything like that for quite a while anyway that's it until Wednesday night where you will see me on another Wednesday wild camp yes and then next Friday for another takeaway review. And obviously next Sunday for another serious stealth camp. You know what I'm talking about. And you know it makes absolute, complete, total sense. Ricicles. Oh, amazing. You know, it makes total sense. My very nice.